In today's video, let's talk about charging your car at a supercharger. So if you don't know how to locate superchargers near you, there are two ways. One, suggestions from Tesla's map. Assuming, let's say, you want to go on a road trip to Sydney airport and you start the drive, it's going to show you where you need to stop to get your car charged. And that location shows you where the superchargers are located. So if you're not aware of any superchargers that are nearby your area or you don't want to use any external apps, you can always go to navigate, click on the charging. And as long as you have just these three light bars signal on, it's going to show you all the destinations that have superchargers available. So the, as you can see, the closest one around us is either the Fortitude Valley one and otherwise uh, the Indropeli one. And it also shows you the rate they're going to charge you if you go uh, there and get your car charged. As you can see, the Indropeli one is 250 kilowatt max charger and the Fortitude Valley is 125 kilowatt. So depending on what you need to charge your car, you can always go and make that decision. Ideally, if you want to maximize the rate of charging, the car battery needs to be around 10% or a bit less than that. And that's gonna assure your car charging at the max rate possible. So after you decide which supercharger to use, you can always click on this button here and it's going to give you a further breakdown of the information. But before that, look at these numbers representing how many hours are available. As you can see here, it says four, eight. So if I go to Indropoli, there are eight hours available in that supercharger spot. So let's go with the one in Fortitude Valley. And as you can see, it says four stalls are available. It also shows you the breakdown of at what time how much money is charged per kilowatt hour. Let's go there and get the charging session started. Another thing to keep in mind is if you want to use supercharger, always put it in the destination of your map as that allows your car to prepare for the supercharging session that you are about to have. As I can show you, if I hit, let's say drive, you can see the information there. It says preconditioning battery for fast charging and that allows the car battery to be set to optimal temperature. So we just reached Fortitude Valley Supercharger Station and as you can see, there's only three stalls available now. There's already a car charging at one of the stations. So let's reverse in and start the charging of this one. So to unlock the charge port, all you need to do is click on the button that's on this charging cable and that opens up your car charging door. And all you need to do is push the charger in firmly. Once the charger is connected, the LED indicator starts to blink. The blue means it's trying to connect to the car. And as soon as the charging starts, it's gonna turn to green. As you can see, the charging LED turned to green, which means the charging session has started. Let's look at the inside of the car to understand how much speed we are getting. Charging. So that's the stats you get when you are inside the car. As you can see, it's showing how much rate we are getting, which is 78 kilowatts per hour. And it might be because we are already at 80%. And usually people come to a charging station to charge it to 80%. And it says right here as well, high user supercharger station, charging limit is set to 80, but we can always increase it to 100. And let's disconnect the charger before it starts charging us for the idle time. But as you can see, the charge rate we're getting at is almost 80 kilowatt per hour and 533, 35 kilometers per hour, which is uh, quite good considering it's just 125 max limit. It's already charged our car with four kilowatt and it also shows you how much our session cost was. And to disconnect the charger, you need to do the same thing. Click and hold this button here and that just allows the light to turn to white and you can just pull the charger out then. So yeah, that was a quick intro to Tesla Supercharger Charging Station when using Model 3 or Model Y. It's a quick alternative to uh, having to look for other Type 2 chargers or free CCS chargers as 
the Tesla supercharger network is way more reliable. So keep in mind, Tesla superchargers are meant to be used only as a top up option when you're traveling farther distances than your car provides the range for, as it can negatively impact the storage capacity of the battery cells and hence reduce the max range available for you to drive on your each full charge. So stay tuned for more videos of quick series where I explain various features and settings that you can use to maximize the ownership experience of a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y.